Murray showing a heart of a blue whale. I mean, that thing is massive. And also, I got to say, physically, yeah. he held up. I mean, keep in mind, he was coming off of a five-set match. And if you watched him after the match, you're talking about how he was sort of spent emotionally, but he's thinking about his next match. He didn't come here to, hey, I played a couple of five-setters. I showed I've still got it. He's been in the finals five times, and you get the feeling he's now pivoted to, how can I win this title? I think about how much he's meant to the sport. You know, obviously, you've talked about Roger, Rafa, and Novak so much. But, Andy, one of the greatest competitors we've seen in, in all of sport. You know, I mean, there's not a guy that leaves it out there more. And then you take one step further back, and you kind of look at just from a human element. It was so beautiful watching Judy Murray there, watching yeah. his son. Yeah. At this age, you know, in his 30s, towards the end of his career, I remember when Judy was one of those tennis moms when Andy was just coming on the tour as this young kid. And now to see him right. here... There was just a bit of a full circle, beautiful moment. Brother too. Yeah. Brother too. Absolutely. And, and how perfect that Lendl back for yeah. this great yeah. run. Yeah. Also, I mean, there when Andy had his most success, but he's had every reason these last three to four years to just walk away. He's been number one in the world. He won his majors. He, you know, he's accomplished so much to go through what he's gone through with his hip and all the surgeries. He now has four children. But this means so much to him to have an opportunity for these kinds of matches. It just seemed to have perfect synergy last night all the way around. He basically had a retirement ceremony yeah. at the Australian Open <laughs> a few years ago. Four years ago. Four years ago. Yeah. And now he's yeah. out there just absolutely being a, yeah. a warrior and, and keeping it going.